everyone, this is Kasia, I'm feeling artsy and today we're going to learn how to draw a mermicorn. If you enjoy drawing with me, make sure you subscribe down below. To complete this project, you will need a piece of paper and a pencil and something to color with. I'm going, we will begin by drawing our mermicorn's head and to do that, we're going to draw an oval that's at an angle. So you want to draw an oval that's not very long, it's just like a stretched out circle that's going to the side like this. Draw your lines pretty lightly because we will erase a lot of them later. On here we're going to draw her eye that's somewhere around the middle. So draw a big oval like this. You'll have three eyelashes, one, two, three and um, a light speckle and we will color the rest black later. There's going to be a nostril right here, so another oval. Now there's an ear coming out here, so you want to draw a curve and then go up and then come back towards the head like so. We'll have a little pink part inside the ear and then her hair is coming from behind the ear like so, going over her head so kind of follow the curve of the head and then when you're about halfway start turning in towards the face so the hair is starting to cover in the face and then from this side of the ear we're just going to cover the head and connect here so another arch this line we no longer need so we're going to erase it we can also erase it later in the center of her head right here there's the horn. To, do, to draw it you will draw a little shape like this and then you'll go up and connect it in a cone-like shape. So kind of like a triangle but this is curved and then you can add lines through it like so. Her body will start about here so we'll go down in an arch like this. The hooves or the legs, one will begin right about here and you go straight and then you do a pointy tip and you'll go down. So it's bent. Then from down about here, go up and again we're going to go down. We can connect this line and we're going to add a hoof and just do a triangle shape like this. The other leg is kind of behind this one. So come up a little bit and stretch it out. Then point it and come back. And let's draw this line to show the hoof. Now there's a bunch of hair, so this hair goes behind the ear and it comes back here so draw a curve like this and it comes back somewhat and covers a piece of her face right here and then there's more like this so repeat this shape two more times so one time here and again last time here now this part of the body goes inside the mermaid tail we're gonna go here under the hoof and now we're starting to draw the mermaid tail so draw a curve that goes under and then goes behind her body like so so big giant U now here we want to draw her butt so a curve going inside that we will turn out like this and then from here we want to go up and join this piece. Now to do the tail we'll start in the center right here. We'll go up and curve and then come, up, come back here and then do the same thing on the other side. So up and curve 
and then come back this piece goes behind the head so we don't really see it but it's like this I want to fix her butt a little bit so I'm going to erase this and just make it a shape like this I think that looks better we can add some little bumps here just to make it prettier you can also add some curlies on her hair if you want maybe one coming out here maybe two another one you can add some scales to her mermaid tail but overall this sketch is done I'm going to go ahead and color it now to color my drawing I will begin by outlining my mermaid corn first I'm using a little marker called a liner you can use a sharpie for this or any black marker when I'm doing this I'm gonna make sure that I do not outline these lines like this one inside the head that I no longer need after I finish outlining I'm going to take my eraser and I'm going to erase all of the lines that I no longer need and finally I'm going to use my markers to color this picture you can use the same materials I am using I'm going to link to everything in the description but you can use anything else that you have on hand you can use crayons you can use colored pencils you can use any type of markers and also you can use paint My mermaid corn is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you give me a thumbs up and come back to see me soon.